Solicitor General Jose Calida, binanatan si Coco Martin sa gitna ng ABS-CBN franchise hearing. Narito at panoorin. Pero bago yan, please click like at pindutin yung subscribe button para sa bagong updates. Binalikan ni Solicitor General Jose Calida ang mga artista ng ABS-CBN na nagsalita kaugnay sa pagsasara ng kanilang home network. Ito ay inungkat ni Kalida sa kanyang opening statement sa ABS-7 franchise hearing sa Kongreso noong lunes, June 1. Bago matapos sa kanyang halos 30 minutes na talumpati, pinasaringan ni Kalida ang Kapimilya Stars. Kabilang sa mga artistang naglabas ng salaubin patungkol sa ABS-7 shutdown ay sina Kim Chu, Angel Oxin, Vice Ganda at Coco Martin. Ito ay dahil sa malasakit nila sa network na kinabibilangan sa mga empleyado at talent sa namakapektuhan ng kabuhayan. Anya, ginagamit ng mga artistang ito ang social media para maimpluensya ng kanilang mga tagahanga upang lituhin ang isyo at mangalap ng suporta para sa ABS-CBN. Narito ang kanyang pahayag. Sa dami ng artista ng Kapamilya Network na nagsalita, pinuntiriya ng abogado ng Administrasyong Duterte ang ang probinsyano aktor na si Coco Martin. Ito ay dahil sa marubdob ng pagpapahayag ng aktor sa kanyang nararamdaman at dahil si Coco rin ang direktang nagpangalan sa mga opisyalis ng gobyerno na may kinalaman sa pagsasara ng kanilang mother network na ABS-CBN. Narito ang kanyang speech. Honorable Speaker of the House, Alan Peter S. Gaetano, Majority Floor Leader, Ferdinand Martin Romualdez, Chairman Franz E. Alvarez, Chairman Jose Antonio R. C. Alvarado, Distinguished Representatives, Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. At the outset, let me Uh, correct that this is not my birthday today. In a few weeks from now, that will be my birthday. <clears throat> At the outset, also let me thank the speaker for affording me leniency during the hearing last May 26, 2020, and uh, for inviting me again in today's hearing regarding the constitutional and legal issues surrounding the franchise application of ABS-CBN. Bago po ang lahat, gusto, po, gusto ko pong ipaabot na nakikiisa ako at ang aking tanggapan sa layunin ni Speaker Alan Peter Cayetano na mabigyan ng isang patas, tapat at magusising investigasyon na kikilatis at hihimay sa ABS-CBN. Nakikisa po kami sa mga pagkakaroon ng malawakang diskusyon upang mahimay at mabigyang linaw ang mga issue at ang mga nagkakasalungat na opinion mananaw at kakahaka patungkol sa ABS-CBN. Now, this move is consistent with my position all along that A, under Act Number 3846 and PD Number 576-A, a franchise is required to operate radio and television station within the Philippines. B, Congress has the exclusive and plenary power to grant a franchise, including its terms, conditions, and period. And letter C, a franchise for broadcast must specifically be in the form of a statute. I would like to take this opportunity to say that I am not at loggerheads with Congress. In my letter to the NPC, I only cautioned the NPC of its possible encroachment on the legislative power 
if it issues a provisional authority without a law authorizing such action. I never mentioned the name of Speaker Cayetano and any congressman in my advisory letter to the NPC or in any of my subsequent press releases. After all, I am also the statutory counsel of Congress as demonstrated in the Ilocos 6 case, the Marshall Law cases, minority leaders case in Suarez, etc. Number one, the office of the Solicitor General as representative of the Republic of the Philippines has always upheld the rule of law. The Holy Bible in Leviticus 5.17 reads, and I quote, If a person sins and does what is forbidden in any of the Lord's commands, even though he does not know it, he is guilty and will be held responsible, and quote. This is also true under Roman law, which introduced the maxim, Ignorantia legis neminem excusa. Ignorance of law excuses no one. From the ancient times, we fast forward to the modern times. The Philippine Civil Code provides in Article 3 as follows. Ignorance of the law excuses no one from compliance therewith. Not every Filipino reads the Bible. Very few are familiar with the Roman law and the civil code. But across the archipelago, every mm -hmm. Filipino, rich or poor, educated or otherwise, understands the so-called majesty of the law or the rule of law. From my Kakabsat in Ilocos provinces where my parents came from, they understand this principle as Amin kat ang parintumang tilinteg bak ng man when law nakurapay. Translate this as everyone bows down to the law whether he is rich or poor. In the Visayas, my countrymen would say ang matagpusa adunahan man o kabos muyukbo sa balaod. And in Nuevo Iloko Mawag Dabaw de Oro where I was born, we say Mapobre man, umadato, walay gipili ang balaod. The OSG, as the defender of the republic and the people, has always been vigilant in his crusade for the rule of law and good governance. No less than our track record is testament to this. We have previously fought against abuses and injustices in a long line of cases, some even before my tenure as Solicitor General. Recently, we championed this fight for the rule of law in the likes of the Serveno and the Lima cases, both filed and won before the Supreme Court. Bakit pa kami titigil ngayon? Responsibilidad namin ipagpatuloy ang labang ito, hindi para sa aming sarili, kundi para sa sambayan ng Pilipino. We will endeavor to right every wrong no matter what the cost, no matter who we go up against. Similar to the cases prosecuted and defended by the OSG, the co-warrant of petition filed against ABS-CBN should not be an exception. What the OSG is seeking before the Supreme Court is merely the correction of a legal wrong and nothing else. Ito ay laban para lamang sa kung ano ang tama at naayon sa batas. Number two, there are prevailing legal principles that place me in a predicament and prevent me from fully participating, uh, participating in this present proceedings. As many of you are aware, currently there are two pending cases before the Supreme Court involving the broadcasting operations of ABS-CBN. One is the power and petition I filed for the forfeiture of ABS-CBN's franchise. The second case is the petition for certiorari and prohibition filed by ABS-CBN against the National Telecommunications Commission, or NTC, questioning the NTC's cease and desist order. 
Some of the issues involved in these cases pertain to ABS-CBN's violations of the Constitution and its franchise, which, according to your letter, are the subject of your current inquiry. Pinagbabawalan akong magsalita ukol sa kahit anumang bagay na may kinalaman sa mga petisyong nakahain ngayon sa Korte Suprema ng dalawang prinsipyong panglegal. These are the principle of non-encroachment on the on the exclusive domain of judicial jurisdiction and the other one is sub-judice rule. Makibahagi at magkomento. For more news updates, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hanggang sa muli!